Hi there. The prospect of some warm summer sunshine will doubtless lead to thousands scurrying off to the beaches to enjoy the summery weather. But uh, what's causing this heat wave? <laughs> having a wonderful weekend today is saturday and it's officially the hottest day of the year and boy am i feeling it it's like a sweat fest in this house right now i, I actually really wish i could get changed something hot, but i can't because i've got dance of bliss i know so esme and isla have both been off all morning at their dance class they went at nine half past nine it's just come up to 12 they just got home i'm about to make them some lunch because in one hour at one isla esme and isabel all have to go back to dance because they have got a rehearsal for their dance show that's coming up really quickly. So we just got to the girls dance rehearsal. They're going to be here now for a couple of hours which means I can go home and sort out the house and get everything ready because we're going out straight from the dance rehearsal yeah. somewhere cool. Are you girls ready yeah. to do some good dancing? Yes. Make sure you all stick together. We will. Do good dancing. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, have fun. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Let's go. I love you all lots and lots. Let's go. Stick together. Do you want me to open that bottle for you, Isla, before you go? Please. You got them, Isla? Yeah. Okay, have fun. Bye, Bye girls. Bye. Okay. Bye. See you later. Have fun. So I left Jace with Chris whilst I took the girls to their dance rehearsal and I thought seeing as though I've got a, a bit of free time without any children I'd nip to the shops and buy some nice drinks for this afternoon. Don't know why but when it's really hot and nice like this I always want to drink different drinks than what I'd usually drink like tropical I don't know like lilt and just really nice drinks so I thought I'd just quickly pop to the shops and pick up some of those. We're going somewhere super fun this afternoon and we're going to be spending some time with some of our good friends, which I'm really looking forward to. And I thought I'd get some nice drinks to take along with us. So I'm just in B&M and something just caught my eye. Look how cool these are. They're Tetley Tea infusions. So I think they look like tea bags that you put in cold water to kind of like refresh your drink. They look so nice, orange and peach. I might have to get some of those. So I just went into B&M. Oh my gosh, I'm stifling hot. Went into B&M, did all my shopping, went into Sainsbury's as I need to, needed to pick up a few bits in there, some food and stuff, and came out, realized that I'd been in there that whole time, and that window there, Esme must have fully put down before she got out of the car when I dropped off at dance rehearsal. I didn't realize at all. So that's been fully down the whole time I've been in there. But now that I've got back in the car and it's all safe, I kind of feel, oh gosh, I kind of feel glad that she did that because it's so sticky hot in here. Anyway, went and got some food and bits from Sainsbury's. I got Chris a little present. Um, I'll show you guys what it is. So me and Chris, I know I've mentioned on the vlogs loads of times, we don't really drink alcohol, not often anyway. And when we were in Mallorca, Chris tried this drink called Amaretto and he fell in love with it. He just said it was the nicest alcoholic drink he's ever tasted in his whole life. In fact, the only alcoholic drink he's ever had that he actually quite likes the taste of. And he loved it so much. So I asked when I was in Sainsbury's, I just thought randomly I'd like to get him a bottle. And I asked whilst I was in Sainsbury's if they sold Amaretto and they said they don't, but they sell Di Serrano. Di Serrano? I think that's how you pronounce it, Di Serrano. Um, and she told me that that's very, very similar, pretty much the same thing. I don't know, because like you say, don't drink alcohol, but it was that color, so I'm hoping it is the same. Comment down below if you know, because I've got no idea. And this bottle is actually a limited edition bottle and it was on sale for 12 pounds. Again, I don't know if that's a good deal or not because I don't usually buy alcohol, but 12 pounds, I thought I'd treat him. So I bought him that. I'm actually really impressed that I got served because usually I don't, I get ID'd and I never carry ID around with me. So I'm actually pretty impressed. She did ask me, she said, are you over 25? And I'm like, I'm 34 this year. But then I got thinking, am I 34 this year or 33? Chris said I'm 34 this year. I can't believe I'm already at the age where I can't remember how old I am. I also got myself 
a Brothers Toffee Apple Cider. These are only 4% and I can only have one because, um, or I'm only comfortable having one because I'm breastfeeding. But Toffee Apple Cider, delicious. And then the other thing I bought is this <laughs> big bucket and spade, which I'm so happy I managed to get because I didn't think here in the UK I'd be able to get one. This was £2.99 from b and Isla's got a school trip coming up next week. I think it's next Friday. And she's going to Filey for the day to the seaside. And one of the things I have to take that's on the list is a bucket and spade. And I was like, I know we always get buckets and spades at the seaside, but we usually donate them before we leave because they just take up so much space. And so we don't have any, but I just managed to find this one in B&M. So she is going to be so happy that she's going to get to take one next week. Jay's just had a good feed and now he's sat on the plot. Floor, <laughs> on the floor playing with this that one of you guys sent for him he loves like having it propped up there because this bit here is like crinkly and he loves the crinkles but i just wanted to say you guys know how special this outfit that he's got on is to me i love it so much and he's tried to wear it twice now the first time was in Mallorca a few weeks ago, but it just looked way too big and way too baggy. So I put it on just for a picture and then took it back off again. And I've put it on him today. And although it fits him so much better, it's so hot today that it just looks really uncomfortable on him. I think maybe we'll change it just because it's so hot today. And you can wear it another day, but how cute is it? It just reminds me of like something my mum would put me in. <laughs> Sweet, are you playing with me? Do you love it? Are you concentrating on that? Okay guys, watch this. Just saw the other hand other other end had a mirror. Watch. Who that? Who's that? <laughs> Every time he smiles when he sees himself. <gasps> okay, he's gone. <gasps> Jace, who's that? Who's that? A handsome boy. <laughs> That's better. Way more comfortable now. Are you more comfortable now? Look at them little roly poly chubby legs. Oh, you are so big now. You are such a big boy. Although these are pulled up way too high. Let's pull them down a bit. Just a little bit. Oh, I'm a big boy. I'm chasing him and I'm growing so such a big boy. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, tell me a story. Is it story time with Jace? I was like, mm, no, we'll have that later. <laughs> Someone just woke up, just in time, and was a very good boy in the car. I cannot believe he slept like that. He just fell asleep on his own. On his own. I don't think he's ever done that, has he? No, that was amazing. No dummy, no baby sensory, no fingers in his mouth. Just sat there and went. That's exactly what I just said. <laughs> Literally. I don't know if he did that. <laughs> but I just it anyway. Anyway, we've just taken a drive 40 minutes across the city to our good friend Stacey and Lottie's where we've been invited to like a barbecue party this afternoon. So that is what we are doing. Although every single one of these girls um, just fell asleep in the car, so everyone is super, super sleepy. The heat must be getting to them today. And we had a late night last night too. Yeah, we did. We did. Have you told everybody about how hot it is today? Yes. It's hot today, guys. Hot is dirty. Yeah. So it's just after five o'clock. Our vlog from yesterday just went live. If you haven't seen it yet, go back and watch it. It's under yesterday's video in the comments below, in the description box below, sorry. So funny, we did that. Uh, can I just... You, what's it, I've forgotten what the name of it's called again. You won't do it challenge, but is can it... I just say? <laughs> we, Chris was saying before, he said, it's because we were telling Esme what Isabel did for the challenge and she filled a bag, a basket online from New Look and said to Dad, you won't buy me all this type thing. And then we were saying how you can make the most of the opportunity doing this challenge. And Isabel got a bag full of shopping from New Look. And Esme got to eat a dog biscuit. 
Yeah, we child. Next time we do that challenge, I guarantee she'll make the most of it. We had a really fun time doing that challenge, but yeah. I don't think like I don't feel like we were savage enough to each other. We weren't. We didn't have enough time to be savage on this one, but like we said, watch it. Check it out, it's very funny. Comment below if you want us to do a part two extreme edition. Touch my hand, it all goes away. The things I plan, the things I would say now I can ramble on. I sound so cliche. What I am trying to do is say I love you. camera but mine sadly is going out little tiny dot is so annoying and the, um, the the sound isn't great on mine either I'm not sure what's going on with it but we have had such an amazing afternoon it's been so nice catching up with friends having nice drinks nice food I uh, yeah I just said friends friends having nice food we just did a s'mores on the Esme come here she's currently still chomping a s'more we just did them on the barbecue is it good? Mm. But unfortunately, the clouds just turned grey and it's looking like there might be like a thunderstorm downpour and it's, also raining. And it's just started raining. So we need to run for cover. Hi hey guys, we just got out of the pool and right now, me and Lottie, we're, we're all about to play a big, massive game of... Granny! <laughs> and Isabel's kindly... Nominated gone. myself to be granny. I don't know yeah, why, but so she's granny. We were gonna do a blindfold, but that's too dangerous. Yeah, we've got a lot of colors. my favorite song. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was gonna be on, but it's a bit dangerous to wear blindfolds, so you probably shouldn't do it. She's Especially gonna open her eyes, yeah. Really um, so she's gonna open her eyes, but pretend she can't see us, kind but of, yeah. So she doesn't want her herself. First of all, I'm going to go to the bathroom and count to 60. Yes. Okay, Lucy, let's go hide. Granny starts in three, two, one. Okay, so it's the world's counting. It's the world's counting to 60 and it's officially, officially on, but we've still got to be quiet because she'll still hear us and she'll be able to track where we're going. Okay, guys. You see it on my face. I'm actually boiling. Oh my goodness, mate. I've just said to the girls they got 10 seconds to hide. But yeah, I just can't even breathe. I'm like, so hot. I think I have an idea where they were going there because they were saying we're really too hot. So I'm like, they might be going outside. Where should we go? What? Where should we go? Sorry, it's a bit bad lighting. Okay, let's just go here. Just stay here. Meanwhile, are hey, you too hot, darling? You were hot. Look, you were hot, boy. Oh, look. Ooh. Oh, dip your toes in. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's a bit chilly. Oh yeah. What's that? Oh yeah, is that cooled you down? Is that? Oh, let me look at this water. Oh yeah, this is nice on my toes. I so need to get into baby classes, swimming classes. Yeah, you he do loves definitely. Loves water so much. What is he? His bath time's his favourite time of day. Got a big hair on you from me. <laughs> Good boy. Dip your toes in. Ooh. You stood close in the glittering lights. Sure did past all the neon signs We've both been waiting for this all night Sure I've been waiting for you to, you to, you 
What's up guys, good morning, it's Sunday, the next day. We got back really, really late from our party at Stacey's house. It was so, so much fun, but we got back really late. So it was literally just in, everyone straight to bed, and we didn't end the vlog last night. So I wanted to chop in just now and say good night. And we're just all getting ready right now to head out on a really, really fun afternoon. So make sure you come back tomorrow at 5 p.m. and check that out. Until then, good night, guys.